hello it's Sarah and today I'm painting again guys with dots and I figured I'd recreate this um, cross for you and because it gives me more practice uh, I like and I love sharing what I do with you guys so this cross specifically I got at Hobby Lobby they have four different sizes of these and I bought them all this is the smaller version of it I'm gonna paint later um, so to do this you're gonna need flat black paint just acrylic paint and I do know that some people even use spray paint but I use flat black acrylic and I'm gonna base coat the entire cross with the first coat I always use sealer just to seal it get the surface um, to not be uh, porous you need to put a flat base down so that the paint will sit right there and once that's dry I give it a good sanding and the sides of these get they have a little bit of a roughness to them so I try to get it as good as I can sand it all down and once that's done wipe off your debris and then give it a nice coat with black again a nice thin coat of just straight black both sides and then you're ready to go all right and so the first thing I do is create a grid because just like with your mandalas I'm doing this little one you kind of just want to keep your line straight and in this case this is in a circle obviously and it's hand cut I'm assuming because none of them are exactly proportionate so the way that I find my center is to just take my um, ruler and kind of draw an X from corner to corner here and it won't be perfect you guys don't worry um, also this is just how I do it you can do it however you want to do it and because um, I'm open to there's definitely more than one way to get where you're going but that is approximately the center I mean it's the center of this little middle thing anyway right now once I've had I have that established I can create a line down the middle to keep my gems and this is like a faux gem cross like it I was thinking regal and you know gothic I love it so much okay so what I'm gonna do is use the grid on my craft mat here um, gonna hopefully line this center line up with this line and I would generally want to use the tips of the cross here but you can't oh also it helps if you kind of use this line too um, and this is so wonky you guys I have a feeling this is going to be off a little bit so I'm using I can tell that I'm around a quarter inch here and I'm around a quarter inch here so it, it's just eyeballing it as well don't it's not exact um, and again I just want this to kind of be in the center I did this off camera first because it is fudgy but I figured I would need to tell you how to do it and listen it's not once the dots are on here you're gonna be fine you're not gonna really 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 notice okay and just go for it well that was pretty good all right I'm gonna turn it this way so I can see better and again line up first of all I can put this line right on one of the lines so I know that'll be straight. Try not to put my head in the shot. Okay. And then hopefully eyeballing it, I'm going to go for it. And I'm lining up the ruler with the grid line, not the wood. So just right up against that grid line as close as I can get. And oopsie. So as you can see, this one looks pretty centered, but this one doesn't. That's like not in the center of that. Um, but this is all square. Let's see how this looks. This one, these are pretty centered. So this is just because this was cut a little wonky, right? I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to use that as my center. And if I'm looking at it, eyeballing it, this side definitely looks a little wider over here so I could come a little I think I will 
I'm just going to slizzle it over a tights. Let's see. Slizzle and tights. Boy, those are not words. Okay. I think I like that better. I'm just going to take a Q-tip and just erase this one so I know which one I'm going for. And there you go. So you've got a grid-ish thing, right? So at least if I'm putting dots across and down, I know they're going to be somewhat in line with each other. Now, the other thing I did on this cross was create this square in the middle, which I do love, and I think I am going to do that again, because like I said, <laughs> I might not do it again, but I do like it, and I like that it repeats coming down. Now on this one, it's a much smaller piece. I'm not going to do it on this one. Um, you know, I should have, I should, maybe I'll go off camera and do this, finish this one so you can see, like, have two to compare it to. But in this case, I feel like this, it, it had enough room. And I got the biggest cross. I have a cross that's at least, um, let's see, 18, I think it's 24 inches long. And I cannot wait to make that one. Anyway, all right, so now we have our grid. And if you wanted to create the square, all I did was kind of, Using this line, I kind of go parallel, like I just kept my, you see how I'm kind of eyeballing it again, and just go from here to here, and let me turn it, and it's still going to be more diamond shaped. This is definitely, I didn't do this with this one, I eyeballed it completely, like I just picked the spot and just made that, so this one I'm being a little bit more precise, so I'm going to start here and just pull it and keep it parallel and boom make a line and do the same thing on this side this time I'm just going to connect these two points babe that was so quick <laughs> I'm filming he just got home from the store he was so fast so this one's going to be more diamond shape. I like it though. I like it. It just It's just a matter of me fitting what the other stuff I want to do, but I think I like that. Um, okay, so now do I want to put a diamond over here too? That's, that's the big, see how this is square, square. If I do a diamond, I just have to pick a middle. So first let me put in, this is what I did down here, and I do love this. Like actually... I was thinking this kind of made me think of Zendangle too, to like have these loopy droopy, like it, I think I want to make um, a Hamsa hand on a flat, and anyway, I have, I have a lot of ideas. Um, all right, so I just need to pick a center, hmm, I guess. All right, first of all, I'm going to do these because I like the swoopy loopies. That's what I was just saying. So I'm going to make a dot right here, and I'm going to make a dot right here. And then I just decided to connect. I'm kind of trying to make a circle here. I'm going to make a big gem right there. That is wonky. I love... Um, Sometimes when you're doing it too, like you just need a guideline, but when you're doing it, you can change it uh, as you're dotting. You don't have to um, follow the line, obviously. It's just there so that you're, you're it's a guide. Like I, my eye can follow that and then I'm less likely to just go completely off the rails with my line. So that's it, that's a guideline. Um, and I'll do it again. Let's see. I'm going to make a dot here, so. It's not exactly round, but I, I mean, and I could make it more pointy. Oh, <gasps> maybe I should do that. I think I want to. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to do this off camera. Okay, I told you, it, they're never the same. No two are ever the same. I decided to, instead of leaving this space here for the, and you know, which I love, I'm going to go all the way down, and I'll probably put one here. I had, anyway, look, it's going to be a little different. Um, but for to make the diamond, 
what I realized, so I just kind of eyeballed the center of this. So from here to here, I measured, and it was about two and a quarter, two and a quarter. So I put a line across, like I lined this up and put a line. So to make the diagonal, I'm just going to try to make it, um, I'm going to eyeball it, and let's see how I can get that to be diagonal. So it needs to be, um, let's see, the same distance, so I'm going to just eyeball and I mean, I could measure, right? Like you could take, let's see. I don't think an inch is going to make it as um, diamond shaped. So I'm going to go three quarters of an inch on both sides. And then that's going to be my diamond. It's not as diamondy probably, but I think it'll be good. And Happy New Year, you guys. Today is January 1st. It's raining here in South Jersey. And that's diamondy. It's very different than my first one, but I think I'm going to go for it. I don't love it, though. I feel like I would like it better if it was this way. Okay, anyway, that's it. This is my design. I'm going for it because, look, I made these. These are the ones I have to add color to these three. But as you're going, these are um, in the kids' department. You just figure it out as you go, and that's what I did. The one thing I will tell you, the first step we're going to do is all gold. I'm using gold, and you can do what you want, but I, it was in my head, it was the gold bezel of the, jewel, of the gemstones. That's kind of the inspiration for why. And that actually helps me because I, I put all gold dots on here first. And then you can see where you're headed a lot better. Um, I also put the gold bezel on for all my pearls. So I, and basically it's just a top dot. And you, that's what they say in dotting. So you make your original dot and then you can put a top dot. And some of these have two and three layers. Um, let's see. I don't know if I shared this sugar skull with you guys, but on him, I have um, sometimes two and three different layers. Well, I have three on the heart, um, basically two, I think. I don't go much higher than that, um, only if I really don't like a color. I think I made... A mandala too. I've been I've been dotting like crazy, um, mainly two. That's that's what I tend to do. So, but there's no rules. You can top dot as many times as you want. Um, all right. So the first step, and I'm going to go off camera and do all the way around. I'm going to do this line all the way around the piece. And probably on all of my white lines, just get my diamond in there. And then I'll decide after that where I'm going with my gemstones, okay? So I have to go off camera and do that because li literally it, it takes a minute. Okay, let me just show you what I'm doing. So I use these bubble palettes. I'm going to put out some fresh gold paint. And I love, I happen to have a big bottle of it too. It's my favorite, Glorious Gold. It's by DecoArt and the Dazzling Metallics, and um, I just keep refilling my little bottle with my big bottle. Shake up your paint, and oh, let me talk about your tools for one second. I mean, I've done this in my previous videos, but for today, I might as well. You can use these. These are, um, I think they're called, I call it a stylus, and, we, and I always used to use these to trace my patterns on my decorative painting pieces. It's a little ball tool, stylus, um, dotting tool, um, nail art tool. I know that if you're getting nail art done, they'll make your designs on your nails with these sometimes. So if you go on Amazon, you can order these. I'm also using a crochet hook set. There's two of them here. I have the big four pack and then I have a five pack that I got. And these are by Sue Bates, Susan Bates. I got these at Joann's. They were in stock at Joann's, but this is probably a couple years ago now. And um, they're nice because they have a nice flat bottom. And these are not the same. I did try these. These were at Hobby Lobby, the Yarnology ones. They don't have a 
very it's not a flat bottom it's a rounded bottom and you can definitely use these I'm not saying you can't but what you get when you use these flat bottomed one is if you put the whole thing down on the piece that's how big your dot is and then anyway it's just an easier way to make your dot size now I've seen people make dots with paintbrushes you don't need these tools you can use a pencil an eraser like a brand new flat eraser makes a really nice dot um, lots of things around the house the end of your paint brushes so I have all different size paint brushes that you can just kind of go through your brushes and find five that kind of go down in size you know and use that anything any like I mean if you wanted to make a big round dot I mean this is going to have a little um, part that's not straight but you could use that um, I think her I forget her name I bought dowels to try it with I also bought these acrylic rods and I don't use these but they're here um, because they're flat on the end they they just they didn't go much bigger than this I think this one's bigger so I'll definitely be using this when I do my huge um, these two are actually bigger when I when I do my huge cross I might need something to make bigger dots with so anyway all right I'll go off camera and I'm just probably going to use not the smallest of dots because it'll get me there faster if I go a little bigger it's kind of like my third smallest of my stylus tools okay I'll be right back but you want to put out a fresh and I use these bubble palettes like I said these were from the dollar store I have um another pack that I totally I keep misplacing it but I wanted to show you here it is crafter square there's six in a pack for a dollar so get those and have fun I have my ot light here I might want that Alexa turn off the craft fan she does whatever okay. see she's very nice all right I'll be right back all right, I just wanted to say, start in the center. So I'm gonna start right in the center and just that way I won't get, cause I started and then I'm like, hmm. So I can also switch ends and just fit a little dot right here. It doesn't matter. Your eye isn't going to notice. Like these are already, I've been, look. They're not perfectly evenly spaced. See, look at that. I squoze a little one in there. All right? So do the middle part first and then work your way around. Um, going to do this first too. Not these. This is just your grid lines to follow. Um, but I'll probably do these, the loop de loo. All right, I'll be back. All right, so for this bottom part, I just want to show you. I just start on each side of this dot, just so that that looks. I'll show you. So if you just start randomly, I can always finish it over here, but like right here, this is kind of like. So this is where I want it to like connect nicely and I figured this out as I was going it wasn't like I did it to every one it's easier to fudge it like as I get up here I think I can fit three more dots see so if you start where you're like right there Okay. And look, you guys, this is none of my dots are completely consistent. So look, I'm going to just start it here. Whoops. And if you really grab a puddle, like grab from the puddle, you'll get more paint than, see, I can put a big one there. So 
but look how pretty it looks already. Just having those guidelines. All right, so I've never had music playing. Alexa, pause. It's Stone Temple Pilots. I love them. All right, so I do want to cons uh, be, I'm going to follow this pretty much because I like the, the shape. This kind of, I don't know, it reminds me of some type of a bezel set gem, like a pin or a pendant, you know? Um, anyway, I'm going to change the sizes a little bit, but look how big my bezel is, the bezel. So I'm going with like a really big, let me see, I, di I didn't use this one. Um, I just used my biggest. So I'm going to use my biggest crochet hook for the center um, stone of this whole, this is the center focal point. Now, that being said, it could be small. So here's a couple, let me just show you a couple variations. So all these little crosses I did all differently to just see what it looked like and what I kind of liked the best. So this one's just a big with a couple little. This one I did them all kind of the same size and I really like the look of that too. I do like the look of that. This one I just did a huge one with littles. And this one was kind of all littles. And I think for this, I do like having that, like so, and then this is what I ended up with on this one. I think what I'm gonna do is just make these a little smaller. But let's see how it, let's see what happens. So again, all I'm using is gold. I'm just gonna go big in the middle, and how I load my, step, my tool is I just kinda dunk it kinda deep so that the paint is up around the edge a little bit. And sometimes if you have a point on your paint, it's a little too thick. So I've been using um, Flow Medium or Color Float to just dilute the paint a little bit to get it to be less sticky. But I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna just put this down. It's not centered. And then I'm gonna take my stylus and just kinda get rid of that uh, pointiness so that I don't have a big bump there. All right, and then I just take paper towel and clean off my tool and that's it. I'm not going to use that big one again. I'm going to start to make my mandala. And that is not centered, so it's annoying me a little bit. All right. I'm going to go kind of like to the smallest of the big ones, I think. Yes. Look, this is just winging it. I don't know what size tool I used on my first one. I couldn't tell you. I'm just going to make all four of them first. I don't want them to touch necessarily. I like to leave, like, it just, you want it to butt right up against it. That's the idea. So I'm gonna clean that, and then again, I'm gonna go in and just kind of spread out that center so that it dries a little flatter. And that's the beginning of our shape. I'm going to flip this around so that I am closer to my work. And it is not centered at all. It's making me nuts. I should have moved that over. Why did I do Like I stayed on the center of the dot instead of staying on the center of the line, which is fine. I'm all right. At this point now, because it's a metallic paint as well, if I tried to wipe this off, metallic juices would go all through the black and I'd really have to repaint it. I don't want to. And it's not that big a deal. Um, and then there's a dot in between all those dots, and I'm going to see which one fits the best without touching the other dots. I don't want this dot to touch. Perfect. I mean, it touched a tiny, a tiny bit. You know. There, this is the reason you have guidelines and I'm not even doing such a good job. And I'm going to use the same one to put a dot out here. Maybe I will use the guidelines. Oh boy. 
because as I get closer to the corners, oh, this is so wonky. Um, and then I'm going to do littler ones. So maybe my smallest crochet hook, but maybe not. Let me see. And look, I am not on the line at all. Oh my gosh. You know what I did? I think I am going to redo it. So let me show you how I would redo this. That this is all, you know, look, I have to go with, now here's the thing now. Um, let me look at it from the front. Because the fact is, it's a diamond shape. It's not a square. And I'm making it more square. Like, I forced that to be more square looking. I'm taking it off. And I'm going to regrid it and everything. So I'm just going to take my baby wipe and pull toward the center. But you see what I mean by like the metallic residuals get on the black and I really don't want that. So I'm going to just put a quick thin coat of black. This is not a biggie, guys. I can I just I just wasn't happy. And you know, in classes and things, when this type of stuff happens, you just really can't you can't take the time to fix it. You have to keep you have to move along with it, you know, because you'll miss out on so much other stuff. So in a class, I would tend to just wing it and just continue on. And it would look fine. That's the thing. I, I just don't know if I'm going to sell these. And if I am going to sell them, I really want it to be my best, you know. So I'm going to let that dry. And I'm just going to touch it up. Let, I'm going to see what it looks like after it dries. Just hitting it with my heat gun. And you can see what I mean by there are metallic residuals there. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. And again, in a class, maybe you could take it off and not worry about the residuals. But I'm not in a class. <laughs> Let me just grab uh, this little flat brush real quick. Um, and I'm, I have thinned it out a little bit. I'm not going in straight black. I am. It's straight black paint but with a little bit of water. And I'm just going to pull it gently across the, the metallic-y parts that got on my wood. I'm going right over the um, grid as well, so I'm going to have to replace that because I want to keep that. Now I'm going to stay on that grid because I want it to be diamond shape. I want my gems to go in the diamond shape. I don't want to build a square. So that's my own. I'm so used to eyeballing things. I think that played into it. So in other words, while that's drying, let's go down here to this little section. And let me pick, because this was really just the same as that on this one. I repeated this pattern down here, but in a smaller version. So I'm going to do that same thing. So let me just pick, I'm going to go with the green. And this is, oh, excuse me, all gold. We're still not using color. So you're just going to go, am I filming? I don't even know. And I'm centering that on that grid. That's much more centered. Now I want to pick something a little bit smaller. I'm going to go with my orange and do all four, um, but I'm staying on the line. I'm keeping it centered. This is really big. But I'm keeping it on the line. I'm not following my instinct of, see, I don't know. All right, so that's more on the line. Now I have to find one that's gonna fit in the middle of those, and I think it's this dotting tool. I just, these aren't quite dry, so I'm just being careful where I place my hand. And these are cool because if you load them up more, you can make a bigger dot. You can kind of fudge your way. 
but I do want it to fill that space. So I'm kind of building the dot to the size that I want it without touching the other ones. That's the key. I think that looks good. I need to reload my um, gold a little bit. And then I'm going to go same size dot on the outside. of each of the four main ones. And I think I'll go one more. I'll go down a size. And just because it's a diamond shape. It's a little, you know, it's not square. So that's the idea. And it can be whatever shape you decide it's gonna be. So let me see if I can see my grid. Uh, can't really. And depending on if my dots are dry, I think I can put this in there. And you know what, I can use this little, aha, this is what I'm gonna do. Where's my pencil? Here it is. So I'm just gonna use this little ruler. This is like a, I don't know, an angled thing. So I don't lay it all the way across my um, dots and make it possibly mess up my dotting. Um, I'm just using this, uh, the wood to guide me all right, so we're back in business. That didn't take very long to, to fix, right? Oh, stuck my hand in the dot. Did I really fudge it up? I just wanna show you because this is real, baby. Um, it's all, I don't think I'm gonna take it off and I, I can touch that up with black. Watch, this is another little trick you can do. Get my liner brush. I'm going to come in real close because you can't even see. And look, I'm being very picky right now, but I stuck my hand in it. Right here, this little dot got my hand stuck in it. So I'm going to re-dot it first of all, just get it to look, because it's still wet, I can reshape it better. See? I reshaped it. Sometimes if you do it and it and it's already hardened, it makes a really weird shape and you're kind of, you can't fix it as easy, but look. Take a little black paint. Voila. I got gold on my black. No one is gonna notice that. Let me come back up. And, but listen, if you're, this is for me, this is my serenity, this is what I'm doing. It's not about what anyone else wants or anything like that. So if certain things don't bother you, don't let them bother you. I'm not, some things don't bother me at all. And I don't, I'd be like, yeah, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. So um, not, I'm not really a perfectionist as things like this go. I don't really um, get caught up in all that stuff, but I feel like this was a different, the shape was going, it wasn't going diamond shape. Okay, here we go again. So I think I picked my biggest, maybe, what, what is the biggest, blue? This blue, okay. So we're gonna make a big dot in the middle and then, I'm, oop, and I spit it all over it. Then I'm going to try and center this too. Much better. Oh my gosh, I can be happy now. Okay. And I'm just going to soften out the center a little bit so that it dries a little flatter. I could probably tweak my gold too, get it a little, like, see, I didn't flatten these. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, if it's too, if it's already dried some, you can't really do this because you'll see the lines. So I'm leaving, I'm going to leave it. But like, 
So I just, I want you guys to see, see and it's far away, you can't even tell. Uh, I'm learning as I go and I'm starting to really figure out the way that it looks the best. Um, all right, now I want to pick up a, a size that's going to be Yep, I think I'm going this way. This is going to be interesting because it's definitely different in a diamond shape. Take time. I'm just going to get rid of that peak. And then I'm going to go with something that will fit. And see, if I'm staying on the line, see, I'm not really confusing myself, you guys. Oh, uh, this one. I can't stay on the line. So in other words, Kiwi, don't. Don't get my earring. Especially here, I can't stay on the line. So let me just... Do my best. You kind of do just have to put it in between. But then as I build out, so I just took that off for no reason. That stinks. Still looks pretty though. I could put something big over here and change it. See, see how I, I change it every time. I think I'm gonna go back to this size. So basically, all these gold dots are going to have color in them. <clears throat> I'm going to decide um, what my color scheme on this one's going to be. I really love the, the traditional, so red, blue, green, meaning sapphire, ruby, emerald, right? Um, and the white is pearl. But I love all the other colors, too, the... Um, amethyst and so this one might have some purple in it I think this is going to be purpley um, now let me see do I want to go full yes I know what I want to see this is nothing like <laughs> it's not going to be the same so it's going to be a version of that I think I can definitely do this here and here, and I just want to, I forget, I forget this a lot because this is new to me, to like take the little point down of these dots so that they don't dry that way, but I keep forgetting. All right, um, I have one up here. Gonna go a little smaller for these side ones because they're not as big. The opening isn't as big. Right here. Right here. I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do in between here too. Let me go up because I don't. I come out of the shot. I like it though. It's going to be awesome. Let me see if I want to. Um. Alexa, play.
I'm just centering these in the middle of that. I think I have to go a little smaller. I see gold residuals over here, so since I have the black paint out, I'm going to touch that up. So I, I must have fixed something when I was dotting over here. And I did not do this type of nitpicky stuff on my first one. I just did it. Um, okay, I have all this stuff in front of me. It gets me a little bit, uh, I have to clean up my area. I love it though. Look how gorgeous it looks already with just the gold. So I have to do a little bit more. I think I need a bigger one. You know what, here, I'm gonna show you um, walking the dots. I'm gonna walk some dots. I'm really not good at it. But this is what I mean when I say walking the dots. So what I'm going to do is, on these two top ones, I'm going to start walking from both sides of this line with this size dot. I'm just putting it down and I'm going to walk it all the way. Put it down and walk it. And do that on all of them. Let's see. And I'll need something here. I'll probably put one. Just to fill. I don't probably need to put a dot there, but. And now I'm going to use the next size up from this, which I think is this one. It'll look fine. And just put it right between those two. Oops. Fill it up. Put it right between. Something could go in there too. I think I'm going to put one of these right here. And usually what I've been doing is with these real little ones, I'm not going to follow the line. It just doesn't look right. Um, the lines get erased, you guys, so that won't be an issue. Um, but usually what I've been doing with these littler ones is making these the pearls. So the other bigger ones are like a gemstone, and then these will just be pearls. And then on my other one, too, I put pearls all the way around the perimeter of this, which I didn't do on here. Let me show you. And this was because I freehanded this. I didn't pre-plan this at all. So um, it's just the way it turned out. Um, 
but I think I need to put a pearl. I'm going to use a different size. So I am planning to put a pearl here and here. I don't even know if I'm in the shot. Yes, good. So I'm going to put pearls all the way around because I just like to pull the white throughout the piece too. They just add to the design so much. Um, definitely going to have pearls going down the center as well in some form or fashion. I'm just filling in the space, but I mean, when the when it comes time for color, I'll decide where I need which color. So I don't have any more here. I think I was gonna do a whole bezel around those two. Like definitely, I could fit a ring around this and I think I might just especially in these two big areas I think I can do it I'm gonna do it and these will be pearls I just do one in each corner first or you know in the four areas and then I'll be able to fill it in And this is going to be a decent sized pearl too, which is great. It'll be good, you guys. Don't worry. I do think you can over dot it. So if you get, if you feel like that's enough, stop and add your color. Um, and then add more as you see fit. You know what I mean? See, that doesn't connect. Now on this one, I don't think I can use the same size. I'm gonna go down a little. Alexa, next. Oh, I like this song. I could probably fit two. Oh no, I gotta go down in size just because I'm gonna touch. I should have used the this size for all of them, but it's okay. They're gonna be pearls. And when you put the top dot on there, I'll definitely be able to fix it. Like they won't look like they're touching for sure. I'm gonna just use this one to dot this whole thing. just love his voice. He died of an overdose. Oh. Oh, I could definitely do something here. I should do... Um, let's see, I think I'll do... I'm not good at whatever this is called, um, walking the dots. I, I just haven't gotten the, um, the real feel for it, and I, I don't know if I'm too close to the other dot or if I'm too far from it. It's just something you have to practice, just like anything. 
And I just went down in size because I'm going to start, fit, I'll finish walking them with the size down from it. I mean, it looks decent, you know, and I won't probably put pearls on these, meaning I won't add white to these. I'll just leave them gold. Well, that looks a little crowded, but I like it. Now, I think I need to do something over here. I'm just going to finish it, connect this, and then I'll put a little bit of a bigger one. I probably should make... I wish I could sing, you guys. You know what? I want to tell you something. If I could sing, I would sing all the time. I would belt out tunes every day. This needs something more. I don't like the way it's just kind of weird there, so I'm going to fill it in. Now, in these, I'm not sure what I want to do, but then I also have to figure something out here. So right here, I like the way this turned out, but I winged it. I had no clue what I was doing. So if I just put a big one here and a big one there, and then just walk some dots, I think that could be it. And then I'll see how I, okay. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a big one on each of the corners of my diamonds. Well, big, but not huge. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna do this. And that might be too big right there. I just want to keep them all consistent, but I don't know. If there's not as much room. Oh, I like this song. Um, I should probably put one here. Gorgeous it is. Look at this. It's just gold. But wait till you add the color. Now, I am going to walk the dots here. I think. I'm just going to start walking them and see what happens. Um, with gold, yep. So these are the sizes that I have to work with. I actually think this one's a better size to start with. Because you want to build up to uh, that's what I think anyway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Ugh. I think, oh, dang it. So, see how this fits between, I like the way that looks. This is what I'm going to go for. Alright, let's just start to it. So I'm going to go on either side. I'm just going to take this and go all the way down as far as I can. And then go to the other side of the line and go all the way down. Just do that.
on both sides of the line. All right, and then come in. I'll come in. I'm going to get this green one and start in the center and go. See, this is where I think I mess up somehow. Hey, babe. Drops off over me. It did? See, that's supposed to be much bigger. See, and I don't quite make it all the way down. It's so annoying. I'm not perfect at it, but I think it looks pretty regardless. And I'm going to go back to... Anyway... It looks pretty. I'm not doing it right. Something is wrong with the way I do it, I swear. So I'm going to have to watch some videos about um, walking the dots. And then I'm going to go to the center with this guy. doesn't even look bigger. I want it. That's the idea. Is it's supposed to be bigger. Then I can walk these down. It's not working. I don't know what I do wrong, but it doesn't get the same effect that I... I think it's still pretty. It's not... I don't know. Something about it I don't do right. <laughs> And then this one is supposed to be much bigger, so I'm really going to dunk it and try to... Maybe someone out there can help me with my walk in the dot situation. Give me a good video to watch, because... I just don't feel like it's doing what I want it to do. Let me go flip this. Yeah, it's just not. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue to do that. And let's go up. All the. I think it looks fine. And then I can put one in the center of this. I'm going to go up one side. Kind of looks like the same size. It is what it is, you guys. I'm kind of losing it. I'm losing it here. Alright, I'm going to go off camera and finish up the gold dots. Alright, it's done. That's all the gold dots I'm going to add for now. <laughs> I'm going to come back with a part two, adding the color. And we'll, we'll get, I'll get back to you soon. Alright, thanks for watching.